Another great tool that you can use when you're ordering or comparing numbers is a number line. Let's take a look at this example. Order the numbers 10,408, 10,433, and 10,416 from least to greatest. As I look at my numbers, I'm noticing that they have a lot of digits in common. Starting in the 10,000th place, I'm noticing that all of the digits have a 1 in the 10,000th place. Moving to the 1,000th place, I notice that all of the digits have a 0 in the 1,000th place. As we continue moving down our place value positions to the 100s, I'm noticing that all numbers have 4 hundreds. It's not until the 10th place where I notice that my numbers start to differ. When I look at the number 10,408, I see that it has a 0 in the 10th place. So I know that this is my least number. If I want to place this on my number line, I notice that it's counting by tens. And so I know that's going to be placed between 10,400 and 10,410. 10,408 is two less than 10,410, so I can place it in that position on my number line. Moving on, I have two numbers left, 10,433 and 10,416. I see that 10,416 has a 1 in the 10th place, which makes it the next smallest or least number. Again, I'll place this on my number line. If, when it's counting by 10s, I notice that 10,416 is one more than halfway between those two numbers, so I can place it at that point on my number line. Let's pause for a second and actually take right down the work that we've completed so far. When we're ordering these from least to greatest to write an inequality statement, we know that we'll start with our least number since that's what our directions told us to do. We have 10,408, which is less than 10,416. Now it's your job to place that final number, 10,433, on the number line and to fill in the blanks of our inequality statements. 